Hi, my name is Keith Asen. I'm an ONTAP evangelist within the product management team here at ONTAP. This is part three of a three-part series of a quick overview of the newest release of ONTAP, ONTAP 9.11.1. In this video, we're going to talk about integrated data protection and ease of use and simplicity features we've added to the newest release. However, if you missed part one and part two, they covered all the other areas and all the other features we added into ONTAP in this latest release. So make sure you check those out. Let's dive into today's video. So there's a number of data protection enhancements in this latest release of ONTAP. First area is, is enhancements in SnapLock, and then to our underlying SnapMirror technologies and high availability technologies, SnapMirror Business Continuity and SVMDR. Let's start with SnapLock support for Flex Group, though. So SnapLock, of course, is our, our indelible data technology, our ability to create data into WORM be able to, to, to protect data from not only being immutable, being able to be changed, but also be indelible. And Flex Groups, of course, is our massively scalable NAS solution, having data distributed across multiple volumes, multiple nodes in the cluster for very high performance and petabyte scale workloads. Combining these two allow customers that have these large file sets the ability to lock data when they choose to for compliance purposes. Maybe a file or a set of directories um, needs to be archived and protected for a particular period of time. You know, uh, one year, five years, seven years, all up to a hundred years, depending on what the requirements actually are. Um, when locked, that data cannot be deleted. Um, if you're using our compliance mode, that data cannot even be deleted by the administrator or even NetApp support. Highly, highly secure protection of that data. Combining these two allow these customers to have these very large data sets this compliance capability within their data sets. Watch for additional functionality between these two features in upcoming versions. SnapMirror has been the de facto standard for data replication in the storage industry for a number of years. We've increased that capability with SnapMirror synchronous, and that's the fully synchronous or near synchronous replication of data between any two ONTAP systems. Some major enhancements done in ONTAP 9.11.1, including the first one is a new mode of replication. So SnapMirror Synchronous is really tuned for moving large amounts of data across very um, flexible networks. However, some applications don't have large amounts of data, but instead have a very large number of small files. Think about a container environment. Typically has a very large number of small objects um, with not much data, but a large number of objects. And that means it's a very metadata intensive replication. In this latest release of ONTAP, we added a new mode that increases the replication capability and really optimizes it for these types of environments. We've also tuned SnapMirror Synchronous to allow for a quicker time to create a, a, a common snapshot across the two sites. By doing that, that reduces any chance or minimizes any chance of any latency being introduced into applications using SnapMirror Synchronous. And finally, because of these enhancements, we've upped the number of synchronous replications supported up to a total of 400 replications per HA pair. That's allowing for some pretty massive scalability. Now on top of SnapMirror Synchronous, when we layer in application awareness, that builds into our SnapMirror business continuity capabilities. We've done some pretty major enhancements to that as well. First, we added in the ability to do Snap Restoration using Snap Restore. And that allows us to recover data, say an entire LUN of data, very, very quickly using our Snap Restore technology. We've increased the general scale of support for SnapMirror business continuity, including a total of 400 volumes and up to 50 consistency group. That allows you to protect a very large number of applications on an ONTAP cluster. Also, SnapMirror business continuity gives you that, that zero recovery point and, and very, very low near zero recovery time objective between two sites. But you may want to have a third site that's air gap to allow you a, a, a larger or longer term archive. So with the latest release of ONTAP, we now also support that as well. The ability to do a fan out, so I have a SnapMirror business continuity across two sites, allowing for a near instantaneous failover and no data loss, and also replicate that data to a third site um, with infinite distance, allowing me to have an archive copy that's air gapped at a remote location. We've improved the performance of SnapMirror Business Continuity, reducing the recovery times. So now we can have a recovery time less than 30 seconds for up to 20 consistency groups and 200 volumes, which would be a quite a large application. And finally, we added OS support for uh, IBM AIX servers. Let's now talk about SVMDR. 
So SVMDR, of course, is the ability to replicate a storage virtual machine, which for file serving is everything is beyond just data. It's not just the data that is in the file shares, but it's the file server itself. It's the directory structure, it's the shares and permissions, um, basically everything that, that contains to the outside world what the file server actually is. And SVMDR allows us to replicate that at an entirety and fail that over at infinite distances, um, site to site, or even on-prem to the cloud or hyperscaler to hyperscaler. Very powerful data protection mechanism and DR capability for NAS shares. With ONTAP 9.11.1, we've increased the number of SVMDR relationships from 64 to 128. Um, massive increase there. Now, also in a Metro Cluster environment, if I'm using Metro Cluster to give myself that um, business continuity, very low recovery time between two sites, now either of those sites can also be the source for SVMDR to a third site, giving me a third site recovery at an infinite distance. And the final feature we added into ONTAP 9.11.1 is a quick resync feature. This takes a little more explaining, but what happens here is if I have a SVMDR relationship and I'm replicating across sites, obviously I'm in a protected state. I have the ability to recover to the alternate site if need be. Now, if something bad happens to my primary site, I need to do a failover, and that VM gets recovered at the secondary site. Um, my application's back up and running, and my, my users can access their shares again. But now I'm in an exposed site where I, I no longer have that recovery site. If something bad happens to my cluster B, my application will be down. So typically, when I get my, my primary cluster back online, my cluster A back online, I want to get a common snapshot replicated back there as quickly as possible. However, normal behavior is when that cluster A comes back online, the two clusters will actually compare their storage efficiency databases. This is to make sure we don't move uh, any data across the wire that we don't need to. However, that comparison of the database, especially in an SVMDR scenario, may take some time. And while that's going, I don't have that common snapshot to recover back to the primary site. So we've introduced a quick resync mode where the administrator can choose to bypass that storage efficiency comparison. And what it'll do is it'll immediately begin moving replica data back to that primary site. You'll get to the point where you're in a protected state again much quicker. You can always run storage efficiency jobs after the fact to regain any space that you lost um, due to not doing that storage efficiency uh, sync first. So it's not a permanent situation. It just allows you to have that recovery choice faster and have that common, uh, common recovery point on both locations and get your data protected sooner. Okay, let's talk about some ease of use features we added into ONTAP 9.11.1. And we talk about ease of use, that's sort of two elements to that. First is the element of just making ONTAP easier to use, making the interfaces easier, better, better workflows, uh, and more intuitive to, to operate. But it also means improving automation. Obviously, the more automated the ONTAP environment is, the less the administrator has to do. And so those, both of those factors tie into when we talk about ease of use. Talking about automation, our REST API set has been growing since we began migrating from Zappies to REST a number of years ago. And now with ONTAP 9.11.1, our REST API set is very, very complete. That means that anybody out there who's still using uh, Zappy to, uh, or, or legacy Zappy APIs um, to automate, whether that's you know, home written scripts or any tools that might call Zappy, really needs to begin the transition over to REST APIs. Today, both API sets are available, but ultimately we'll be phasing out the Zappy APIs and moving just to REST. So it's really important to begin that work to migrate over to REST APIs. Also within System Manager, we've enhanced our file system analytics. We introduced file system analytics a number of releases ago, um, but most recently in the last release, on tap 9.10.1, we introduced the ability to, at a glance, determine what was my highest utilized directory, file, and client. So I could see from an IO standpoint or through, throughput standpoint, um, who is driving most of the load in my environment? Why was, was a workload heavy? And this allowed for some really fantastic um, workload detection. You know, maybe there's a particular client that was driving the environment harder than it should have been. Um, maybe there's a client that's using the NAS share, maybe how they shouldn't. But I can tell at a glance if I have unusual amounts of load, you specifically which file, which directory, and which user is generating that load. 
Now, in ONTAP 9.11.1, we've taken that a step further, allowing you to, again, see that, that performance of top directory, top file, and top user, but also now letting you do that at an SVM level. So for a given storage virtual machine, which might be an application or a particular group of individuals, I can see who within that SVM is actually driving the load. Also, I have one-click recording. So within the System Manager GUI, I can start a timeline for a given environment, and actually that will, will record all of these statistics that are coming in real time. And I can go back in that timeline to actually see what was going on. It allows me to capture events and detect anomalies as they form. Also allows me to do an easy export of that for uh, further analysis after the fact. All done within System Manager, very, very easy to use. Also in System Manager, we added in the ability to adjust manually your aggregates and capacity allocation. Now, if you're not a storage admin and you don't really care about how RAID is done or how you want your, your disk laid out, you just want it to be done as per best practices, you can certainly let System Manager do this automatically and not have to do this. But if you're a bit of a storage geek like me, you may want to have specific say on how your disks are added to your environment. I maybe want to choose a particular RAID group size, choose how my disks are, are spared, or where my capacity is going in my cluster. We've added this functionality back into System Manager. So now within System Manager, when I add more capacity, I have the ability to um, switch to a manual local tier creation, and then I can manually choose RAID group size, um, RAID size, and hot sparing, so I can actually configure the, the disks exactly how I want them, if I so choose. Obviously, the fully automated functionality is still there. So there you go. That completes our quick overview of ONTAP 9.11.1. Watch for more videos coming shortly, where we're going to do some technical deep dives with some of our technical experts on these particular features. We'll do an individual video for each one of those features as we pull those technical experts in. If you missed part one and part two, check those out on NTV. And thanks again so much for watching. Have a great day.